Hi all, it's Weasel here. Just a quick video to just show you the very, very basics of building. As a couple of people that I know are struggling with it, so I thought I'd have put a video out. So you found somewhere that you want to build. You've got the wood and you have the stone. So first of all, you need to make yourself a building plan, which is in the first section here. Your building plan's down here and it's telling you you need a, a one paper. So we go and find a paper, we click paper and we craft. We then go back to the building plan, click on the building plan. We've got the paper, so now we craft again. We put that down into our bar there. Now, if you want to upgrade our building, we need to have a hammer. So we go over here, click the hammer, it takes 100 wood and you press craft. You then have to put that down into your bar as well. Okay, so there we go. That's how you make your building plan and your hammer. So now we want to build. So we select the building plan in our bar down here. You can do it by using your mouse wheel or you can press the corresponding number, which this one would be five. If you right click whilst it's highlighted, it brings up a table here which shows you everything that you're able to build. There we go, we got everything there. So we want to start off with a foundation. So there we go, it's highlighted blue. If you couldn't put it in, it would highlight as red, but blue. So there we are, we click that on. We'll just make a basic two by two. And that's there as well. We need to then make sure that we've got pillars. So we go, we right click on the, on the, on your, <laughs> we right click on your mouse again, and then left click for pillar. And there we go, we start putting the pillars in very quickly. There we are. Right, now we want to upgrade our pillars. So we move our mouse over and we select the hammer. There you can see it's lit up a slight green colour. If you right click on the hammer, it then brings up another sub menu, which shows you that you can upgrade to wood, stone, sheet metal which is really not worth upgrading to and armoured. I haven't got any uh, high quality metal at the moment so I can't show you that but you're just left clicking it to upgrade it. We're going to upgrade to stone so we highlight over it and then we left click and we go and do all of these. Same on all of them. Right click on them, highlight it and then left click. And, and then we'll do the same on the foundation exactly the same there we go remember to do the middle okay so we want to put a door in so first of all we highlight our building plan click the doorway and then left click to place it and then we're going to put some walls up highlight the wall left click and put the walls in there we go Okay, now we want to have a door in our doorway, so we right click again, click the door, and there we are. There are two ways round for the doors, same with the walls. This one is the right way round, it's, this side is the outside, the flat side here is the outside. You always want that because it's harder for people to break it down. And then this side's the inside. You can upgrade these as well, but only to sheet metal or armoured. You can't upgrade it to wood or stone or anything. Sheet metal is not too bad. Um, it takes one C4 to get that down, but armoured is always the best, best way to go. It's quite cheap to upgrade it as well, but we'll do sheet metal for now. So we know that's the right way round. We're now going to upgrade our doorway and all our walls. There's obviously an inside and an outside of the walls and the doorway too. The lighter side here is the inside and the darker side is the outside. So there we go. If you get it the wrong way round, I think you have 10 minutes to be able to turn it. So what you do is you've got your hammer, you right click again and then you've got this rotate. And you can see that's rotated it, but that's the wrong way round. So we'll turn that back round. You can upgrade all of these as well to the sheet metal, which is really not worth it. Stone and armoured. Um, for the sheet metal, I'll show you, you sh really shouldn't do sheet metal, but here we go, I'll show you. That will be the outside, 
and then that's the inside and that's pretty much the same for the high quality metal if it's the inside you've got these crisscrosses there but we'll turn that back round okay so that's the real basics of building oh and you want to make sure that you have a building cabinet inside or it's a tall cupboard it costs a thousand wood you craft it you then place it always hide it as well so you, you'll place it there authorize yourself and then block it in you want to make sure that you've got several building cupboards because this stops people being able to build near you etc okay make sure you put a lock on your door you can use the basic lock where you have to carry a key around and then make sure you've got a key inside as well just in case you get killed um, or you have got the code lock which is a uh, default blueprint 400 wood and 100 metal fragments you want to make sure that you get one of them on and then you place it by putting it in your bar highlight it and then left click and then you can put a code locking code number I'll just put 555 and then you can see it's locked there with the red unlocked with the green but once you've got the code lock, you don't have to keep entering it. Once you've locked it, you can keep opening and closing the door, which is another really, really good thing to have. Um, always make sure when you've built is to have sleeping bags inside. So if you die, you can get back quickly. Uh, what else? I think that's the real basics. I don't think there's too much more to tell you about that. Okay, thanks very much. Look forward to you joining me on the channel again soon make sure you click the subscribe and the like button if you like the video any comments would be greatly received uh, if you'd like to see any particular video made then I'd be quite happy to make it uh, okay see you soon bye bye